Hey, yeah, uh, this is the Viceroy. Uh, you had me on hold. I captured the Prospect Park Mangler. Hey. My friend played a little prank on me. Can you do me a solid? Okay. What do you mean, 30 minutes? I, I, I can't wait that long. I have plans. No, I'm not going to tell you what my plans are. Why? So you can figure out my secret identity? No. Sh oh, shit. Hey, 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 stop that. He's a criminal. Stop what you're doing. Aren't we all criminals? Living in a society that justifies drone strikes on innocence? Besides, he offered me a thousand bucks. Are you gonna give me a thousand bucks now, too? He doesn't have a thousand bucks. You don't know that? Yeah, you don't know that. No, you're right, I don't know that. But what I do know is this guy has been strangling joggers around the park, and if you untied him, chances are pretty good he's gonna strangle you. Is this true? Would you get out of here? Just go! You can't blame me for trying. You're kind of right about that. But still, you shouldn't. Just go to jail. Hey, has anybody ever texted you a naked photo? On purpose? Yeah. No. Can I see it? No. Come on, man. I got a cane. Who's going to love me? This woman sent me some naked photos. You sent one back? No, there's. Nothing on my body that taken on its own is worthy of objectification. Uh, I think that's for her to decide. Well, I stopped seeing her, and now I still have these photos, and I, I don't know, I feel like I should delete them. No. Those are your photos. Do not delete them. She gave them to you for better or for worse. Don't. Can I see one? No. Look, there's, it just feels creepy. There's gotta be some etiquette about this. I mean, you don't keep an ex's toothbrush. No. I've never jerked off to a toothbrush. Alexander, stop it. Uncle, about where we were. Alexander, come on. Uncle we're gonna go home. Back where we were. One, two, three. We're getting up and going home. I wanna go back where we were. Fine. You know what? Stay here. I'm leaving you, Alexander. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Alexander. Bye, bye. Last chance. Coming with me? OK. See you later. <laughs> Good luck to you, sir. Alex, go back where we were. What? Do go back where we were. I went back where we were. It's messed up. Oh, my God. Oh. Whoa, hey, where are you going? I don't know. Where they came from seems like a fun place. No, wait a minute. You can't leave me with this kid. That's not your kid. Right, but I'm not just going to leave a kid on the sidewalk by himself. I guess you finally got your sidekick. Congratulations, hero. Bye-bye. You're an asshole. Yeah. I want to go back where we were. I want to go back where we were. I want to go back where we were. Then go. You won. What? Just go? I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. You don't have to go. I mean, you should go. Uh, you should go home, but uh, ignore me. I want to go back where we were. What? Do go back where we were. Hey, sorry it took me so long. His mom still hasn't come back? No. Penny, Alexander, Alexander, Penny. Hey, Alexander. Would you like a cookie? Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. You texted, said, bring a cookie. Yeah, for me. All right, OK. Jeez. We don't know this kid. Haven't you ever heard, don't give candy to strangers? Don't be that stranger. I don't know if this kid has, like, some special diet or a gluten allergy. He looks like he's on a special diet. He's very pale. Good cookie, though. You're welcome. Thank you.
This is ridiculous. What do you think his mom is doing? Oh, you're such a good little cabbage. Do you ever send people naked photos? Do you not? Are you too good for a shirtless bathroom selfie? Why would you do that? I don't know, it's fun. Like, if I really like someone, I like the idea of them having this photo of me. And like, where were they when they received it? You know, were they in a meeting? Or on the toilet. Sure. I mean, don't you worry that if you stop seeing them, they're still gonna have those photos. Everybody has pictures of somebody's boobs. Most women have pictures of boobs on their phone. I'm actually in the majority. If you don't have pictures of boobs on your phone, then you got something to hide. And like, if you feel uncomfortable with the pictures, you can just delete them. But like me, let's see, like I have a file folder on my phone that's specifically for penis photographs that I've received. Most of them are unsolicited, if you want to just skim. Look at that one. Look at that one. Look at that one. Look at that one. They all seem one. to come at 11 o'clock. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's like the dick witching hour. The news is on, they've just finished dinner, they're just home from the gym. They're like, this is now is the time for my dick pictures. I mean, I guess ones kind of look like dicks. Maybe that's why this guy sends his pics at 2 a.m. Look at that. Oh, this dick has scoliosis. Yeah, it's bad. Okay, this is, this is crazy. We should probably go down there. Actually, would you mind doing it? I don't. I don't I'm just know. saying, this is a white lady to white lady situation. If I go down there, I knock on her door, she's gonna get freaked out, and it's Susan Smith all over again. I don't know who that person is. Susan Smith? Crazy white lady? No. There was a time when white ladies used to drown their children, and they would blame it on black dudes, like that was a thing we were into. Bad enough people think black guys run out on their children, but then on top of that, that we would steal somebody else's? Also, isn't the stereotype that black people don't swim? Right, which is exactly why we would drive a car into a lake. So, would you just go down there and tell that crazy white lady to come get her kid? Okay. Calm down, Stan Smith. I got this. It's not Stan Smith, it's Susan Smith, and that's her, not me. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Could you keep it down? My son's trying to sleep. Right, I know. You forced me to babysit him. I didn't force you to do anything. Alexander's fine. No, this is New York. You don't just leave a kid on the sidewalk. You don't know what could have happened. He could have run into traffic. Hell, you don't know me. I could have kidnapped your kid and driven him into a lake or something. No, I'm, I'm sorry. We're, I'm part of the neighborhood watch. You Stan Smith yourself on that one. You know, at some point, this just seems like a lack of respect. I mean, if you want to teach the cops a lesson, you should let me go. Shut up. I don't get it. If this neighborhood can have a mustard shop, it should be no problem to get a cop to show up quickly. Yeah, that mustard shop's nuts, huh? That's some real special Brooklyn shit. I've strangled joggers all over Central Park, and in that area, those people spend money on anything. And even they know not to open up a shop that only sells mustard. Right? Thank you. I mean, how does a place like that even stay in business? Well, from what I understand, it's not just mustard that they sell. Wait, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? Are you talking like guns? What, drugs? You wanna let me go? No, but if the cops don't show up in the next 10 minutes, I might walk down to that bodega and maybe I'd grab you some chips. A beer? No. Come on, I'm going to jail. I don't give a shit. All right, maybe I'll grab you a beer. A wine cooler? I'd grab you a beer before I've got you a wine cooler. Cider? I like cider's pretty good. You want a cider? You know, a hard cider. Hard right, cider. yeah, no, I know what you want, but I, 
Like, if I got you a beer, that's one thing, but I'm not gonna go get you some artisanal cider or something. Not artisanal, like all the beer companies make, make a cider. Dude. Yeah, but just, I mean, I was thinking just like some PBR or something like that. Yeah, me, any beer is fine. Okay, wait, don't, the way you said it, you make it sound, you're making me feel guilty. I'd be happy with any beer you get me, that'd be great. Really? Seriously, yeah, okay. that'd be really beyond okay. and above and beyond. Okay. All right. It's about damn time. Thank you. These are yours. Pleasure doing business with you.